true, but I will say about this, about the fentanyl, because this is a crisis of this, the opioid crisis. And the good news on this is, is the last 12 months saw the largest decrease in opioid deaths in our nation's history. 30% decrease in Ohio, but there's still more work to do. But yep. let's go back to this on immigration. Kamala Harris was the attorney general of the largest state and a border state in California. She's the only person in this race who prosecuted transnational gangs for human trafficking and yep. drug interventions. But look, we all want to solve this. I, most of us want to solve this, and that is the United States Congress. That's the Border Patrol agents. That's the Chamber of Commerce. That's most Americans out here. That's why we had the fairest and the toughest bill on yes. immigration that this nation's seen. It was crafted by a conservative senator from Oklahoma, James Lankford. I know yes. he's super conservative, but he's a man of principle, wants to get it done. Democrats and Republicans worked on this piece of legislation. The Border Patrol said, this is what we need in here. These are the experts. And the Chamber of Commerce and the Wall Street Journal said, pass this thing. Kamala Harris helped get there. 1,500 new border agents. Detection for drugs. Yep. DOJ money to speed up. These, uh, the adjudications on this, just what America wants. But as soon as I was getting ready to pass and actually tackle this, Donald Trump said no, told them to vote against it because it gives him a campaign issue. It gives him to, what would Donald Trump talk about if we actually did some of these things? That was Tim Walls absolutely torching both J.D. Vance and Donald Trump at the same time, just absolutely laying it down on the debate stage in New York during their CBS debate tonight. And my favorite part is Donald Trump made the decision for some reason to live tweet or live truth about the debate as it was happening, and it made him look so incredibly unhinged. We have 35 days to go until election, and no time to waste. Let's break down some of the best debate clips and they, let's break down Donald Trump's absolute tantrum on Truth Social. So 26 minutes ago, he said, okay, let's go. We're getting ready to go. Within the same minute, 25 minutes ago, he said, both young ladies have been extremely biased anchors. He said that within the minute that the debate started. He started to say that the anchors were biased. He then said, he's been indoctrinated with lies, thinking he can override his own incompetence. He's as nervous as you get, which he is Trump talking about here. He then said, a great defense of me and the administration of fake charges by an obviously not very bright governor. I mean, Donald Trump has turned into a full-on bully calling VP Kamala Harris and Tim Walls stupid, calling them mentally impaired, not very bright. He then said, Walls is taking so many notes, never seen a candidate take more. He needs the notes to keep his brain intact, or maybe he's just thorough. That's a quality that we want in a vice president. He then said, the administration admitted that the IRA that Walls just brought up was a hoax. You know what? Let's fact check J.D. Vance for a second. J.D. Vance talks about manufacturing here. What would you want to do? The answer is that you'd want to reshore as much American manufacturing as possible, and you'd want to produce as much energy as possible in the United States of America because we're the cleanest economy in the entire world. What have Kamala Harris's policies actually led to? More energy production in China, more manufacturing overseas. Okay, so J.D. Vance falsely claims that Harris's policies have led to more manufacturing overseas, but this chart right here shows manufacturing is booming under President Biden and Vice President Harris. Total construction spending in U.S. manufacturing, you can see right here, in 2018, the red section through 2020 was Trump's turn. And then as soon as 2021 hits and Biden takes office, you can see the Chips and Science Act, the Inflation Reduction Act, all of these things spur massive manufacturing within the U.S. That is J.D. Vance just lying, and that is exactly what we knew he was going to do on stage. Here is Governor Walls torching J.D. Vance. But what's fundamental here is that steady leadership is going to matter. It's clear, and the world saw it on that debate stage a few weeks ago, a nearly 80-year-old Donald Trump talking about crowd sizes is not what we need in this moment. Yep. But it's not just that. It's those that were closest to Donald Trump that understand how dangerous he is when the world is this dangerous. His chief of staff, John Kelly, said that he was the most flawed human being he'd ever met. And both of his secretaries of defense and his national security advisors said he should be nowhere near the White House. Now, the person closest to them, the, to the Donald Trump, said he's unfit for the highest office. That was Senator Vance. What we've seen out of Vice President Harris is we've seen steady leadership. We've seen a calmness that is able to be able to draw on the coalitions to bring them together. Yep. Understanding that our allies matter. When our allies see Donald Trump turn towards Vladimir Putin, turn towards uh, 
North Korea, when we start to see that type of fickleness around holding the coalitions together, we will stay committed. And as the Vice President said today is, we will protect our forces and our allied forces and there will be consequences. Amazing answer from Governor Walls there. I love when they hit on the point that Republicans are abandoning Trump en masse. People who worked closely with Donald Trump during his first term, people like Mike Pence are not coming out and saying, I can't endorse this man. I have worked closely with him and he has a childlike understanding of the world around him, he's honestly a dumbass. Here's Governor Walls talking about climate change, fact-checking J.D. Vance. Back to the climate change issue, there's no doubt this thing roared onto the scene faster and stronger than anything we've seen. Senator Vance has said that there's a climate problem in the past. Donald Trump called it a hoax yep. and then joked that these things would make more beachfront property to be able to invest in. What we've seen out of the Harris uh, administration now, the Biden-Harris administration, is we've seen this investment. We've seen massive investments, the biggest in global history that we've seen in the Inflation Reduction Act has created jobs all across the country. 2000 in Jeffersonville, Ohio, taking the EV technology that we invented and making it here. 200,000 jobs across the country. The largest solar manufacturing plant in North America sets in Minnesota. But my farmers know climate change is real. They've seen 500 year droughts, 500 year floods back to back. This is great messaging and I can't wait for these clips to be circulated all over the internet. I absolutely love it. Here's Tim Walls talking about Iran, responding to J.D. Vance's false claims. Thank you, Senator. Uh, Governor Walls, do you care to respond to any of the allegations? Well, look, Donald Trump was in office. We'll sometimes hear a revisionist history, but when Donald Trump was in office, it was Donald Trump who we had a coalition of nations that had boxed Iran's nuclear program in, the inability to advance it. Donald Trump pulled that program and put nothing else in its place. So Iran is closer to a nuclear weapon than they were before because of Donald Trump's fickle leadership. And when Iran shot down an American aircraft in international airspace, Donald Trump tweeted, because that's the standard diplomacy of Donald Trump. Yeah. And when Iranian missiles did fall near U.S. troops and they received traumatic brain injuries, Donald Trump wrote it off as headaches. Look, our allies understand that Donald Trump is fickle. He will go to whoever has the most flattery or where it makes sense to him. Steady leadership like you witnessed today, like you witnessed in April. Both Iranian attacks were repelled. Our coalition is strong and we need the steady leadership that Kamala Harris is providing. Great points from Tim Walls there. I mean, Donald Trump constantly dismisses the suffering of our service members and in the process shows that he can't stop himself from belittling the military, shows that he cares more about himself and how he looks to other people than the actual people who have sacrificed themselves for our country. Here's one more clip of Tim Walls eviscerating the Republican ticket. Take a look. We're starting to weatherproof some of these things. The infrastructure law that was passed Past, allows us to think about mitigation in the future. How do we make sure that we're protecting by burying our power lines? How do we make sure that we're protecting lake fronts and things that we're seeing more and more of? But to call it a hoax and to take the oil company executives to Mar-a-Lago, say, give me money for my campaign and I'll let you do whatever you want. We can be smarter about that and an all above energy policy is exactly what she's doing. Great stuff. I hate how J.D. Vance is smugly smiling over here a little bit. Let's refresh Truth Social and let's see what Donald Trump is saying right now. I'm sure he's still going on an unhinged meltdown. He said, more notes. Why can't Walls just remember what he has to say? Low IQ. Margaret Brennan just fact-checked J.D. Vance incorrectly on climate change. When is she going to fact-check Tampon Tim on all of his false statements? Trump is melting down. He said, J.D. is steady and strong. Tampon Tim is sweating bullets. I mean, you could show me these, and I would think that a fifth grader sent these posts out. J.D. is doing great. A different level of intelligence from Tampon Tim. I don't know why you guys watch this channel when you can just get A-plus political commentary from Donald Trump's Truth Social, he said in four separate posts that J.D. Vance is doing great, J.D. Vance is steady and strong. He's just rewording that over and over, not adding any substance. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed the debate, drop a like, hit that subscribe button, have a great rest of your day, and peace out.